Hello, some days ago I got a question asking how to create a Raven with a flat valley on the bottom. So I decided to create a quick video about it. In fact, this will only show how to create that particular shape. As you can see here, this will be the final result. Obviously, you can tweak it further with just the basic on how to do it. Okay, so let's start from the first node, the Warslands. Now, this node is used only to create the general aspect of the terrain. You can use whatever you want. However, I wanted a rocky surface, so I choose this one. I change the structures to small because I don't want the large rocks and uh, lowered the scale so we have more details instead of uh, having sparse details throughout the terrain and also complexity to seven for the various details after that i place an fx node and as you can see the fx node is used to move the terrain up this is directly correlated to the next node, the fault. I will show it in a minute. Now, for the effect, I use the gain method, bias gain, only the gain to 33%. Of course, you can go higher if you want, because as you can see, the fault go down into the terrain. And uh, if you don't have this effect node, I will show you. this will be the result as you can see we get completely flat terrain without any details basically like a constant node and we don't want that that's because the terrain is at the level of a grid here actually it goes below the grid but uh, we can't uh, see it so that's why we use the effect node with the gain enabled now for the fault I change the width to simply get the shape that I want. The Raven is not like a canyon, it's smaller and thinner, so I think this size works quite well, but you can make it smaller or thinner, whatever you want. The scale, basically, if you lower it, you will get more curves and irregularities in your fault and the higher the value the straighter it will be the fault now i wanted uh like not too irregular but uh, neither too straight so something like this or maybe 0.4 then i connected a height node this is used obviously for masking and uh, be careful because the height node is directly correlated to the height of your terrain so if you change the altitude from the grid as well as the fault properties you also need to change the value of the height node in my case it's uh, 29 percent maximum because I want to highlight the valley of the Raven, not the top part, only the bottom here. The height is used as a mask for this effect node here and another node here that I will explain. Now, the, this effect node is used to basically flatten out the valley of the Raven, as you can see. I enable the clamp with clamp mean at 8%. Again, this is correlated to the altitude and depth of your fault. Okay. Of course, if you bump up the clamp, it will uh, lose details. In this case, it will become very, very flat. So you don't want to go very high. Okay, like this. Then I connected an erosion. The erosion is used mostly 
to blend everything together and I think I used a preset here to fasten up the process it was the strong channels and we have this kind of result after that a surface node with the height mask so it will only affect the bottom area of the fault the surface is used to add some rocks in the valley as you can see this is before this is after and then we have the effect node this effect is is used simply to drop to floor our terrain because if you enable the drop to floor in another node it will mess up the shape but if you use a effect node without any properties enabled it will do just fine as you can see it is laying on the grid nicely without any artifacts or changing shapes and this is how you create a raven okay so i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial like i said before this just the basic structure after uh, after these nodes you can add whatever you want change the terrain however you like i recommend using mask so you don't mess up the fault but if you enjoyed this video leave a like to support the channel subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content if you have any question comment below and i'll see you in the next one